All right, today I'm building up a Race Inc. RA29 frame. Got it in gold, the anodized gold, which looks so good. And tore down a steel cult devotion um, that was also a 29 that I uh, pulled some wheels off of and uh, pulled the rest of the parts off of, for the most part, except for the fork, which wouldn't fit, and a couple of other things. It was a U brake, so I um, ended up having to go with a V brake. But today, that's what I'm going to be building up. Super excited about it. The Colt Devotion was great. Um, it didn't ride as well as I wanted it to, so I thought something maybe a little bit lighter, a um, little bit different geometry might handle it a little bit better. I am rather small, I'm on the shorter side, so I'm five foot eight. Um, that's maybe five foot seven, depends on the day, really. Uh, but anyway, uh, the 29 is a little bit big for me. I really love, love the way that the 26 rides. But anyway, we're gonna throw some parts on here and this is going to be my build kit. So we're going with a 29 inch Motima fork. We're going with the Colt handlebars. They're like a six inch rise. The Cook Brothers uh, V-brake and V-brake lever along with the Botima headset. I have a giant stem that I decided to use, which is a top load. Um, it drops the handlebars down just a little bit, which is great for the rise of the handlebars. Um, going with some PNW components, polished pedals, along with a Mankind 30 tooth sprocket, which I have had my eye on for years. It's been in my collection. I've never had anything to use it on. An Odyssey Bluebird chain, and then we're going to drop the OE cranks and um, just another a seat post that I found that was 27.2 along with the WTB seat. So let's go ahead, get to building, and see how this thing turns out. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier in the build list is the box two tires. I'm going to go with the 29 by 2.35s. I think they're going to be perfect, make this bike roll real good. That's the build. The RA29, got some black on there. It looks really good. I would have loved to go with a black Botima fork, but for right now, what we've got is a chrome. Looks really good though. And uh, did a couple of the polished accents. So it all came together really good. Um, you can see right here, I've got a bit of stack height. I'm not a big fan of that, so I will cut down the steer tube. Just don't have the tools to do that right now. Mm -hmm. 